It's been a tough time for music and the arts during the pandemic, but a composer from Oxford has written a new piece during lockdown with one instrument in mind, the double bass. Leo Geyer's piece has been commissioned by the Musicians' Company. Here's what it sounds like. A short time ago, I spoke to Leo and asked him why he wrote something specifically for the double bass. Well, I was hugely inspired by my really good friend, Toby Hughes, who is an amazing virtuoso double bassist, and he's releasing an album quite soon. But the problem is, is that there's not a great deal of repertoire for the solo double bass. So we thought we might team up and do something about this. Because I think the first time I saw a double bass, don't laugh, it was being played in um, Disney's The Aristocats. It's the cat jazz band during Everybody Wants to Be a Cat. <laughs> how, how often does a double bass feature in uh, a song or in music scores without us really noticing? Yeah, it's a really good point. I mean, for example, in orchestral context, the double bass is always there, but often doubling the cello right at the bottom of the orchestra, providing that kind of extra bass, but not really in a kind of solo way. And similarly, in a lot of popular music and of course in jazz, the bass is there providing that bass line and, and that, and that uh, outline of the harmony, but not really featuring as a solo, which is a great shame. So you composed this piece during lockdown. How difficult was it to do it over Zoom? Yeah, really difficult. I mean, the pandemic has been so hard for musicians, largely because we simply can't play together. And obviously we can connect on Zoom, but the lag is too intense for us to actually make music together. So that made us think, well, OK, so we've only got a solo double bass to play with, that perhaps we could incorporate a loop pedal so that rather than another instrument accompanying, Toby is accompanying himself with multiple lines of solo double bass. So how would you describe the sound of a double bass just on its own because obviously we've heard it kind of like a, as a as a background piece like almost it almost blends into me as like a bit more like a part of a percussion <laughs> yeah well actually the double bass is a hugely versatile instrument because of course it's got the really low sounds which is kind of iconic but also because of its very deep strings and its very large bodies you can get quite a lot of interesting percussion sounds as well but particularly in this piece we wanted to showcase the expressivity of the double bass so actually exploring quite a lot of the higher register which is really beautifully rich oh, i love the idea the double bass is expressive so how can people listen to it so it's currently on YouTube, so if you search for my name, which is Leo Gaia and the Water Boatman, uh, then it'll come up on the Worshipful Company of Musicians YouTube page. Leo, thank you so much. Thank you for having me.